Hi there, Jeff Fletcher, just recording the new Zendikar Rising event. I'm going to be doing a draft right here. I'm just going to check the time. Uh, that's fine. This is my first Zendikar Rising pack. I see what I opened. I opened a uh, Mythic uh, record, which is always nice. Um, Magmatic Channeler. As long as there are four or more instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard, gets plus three plus one. That's kind of cool. Discard a card, exile top you choose one of them. That's a pretty interesting card, to be honest. Like, it's a 1-3, but it's 2. It can get big, and it can. it's kind of got loot. Okay. An interesting one. Are these, like, full packs? There seems to be some kind of weird pack, because I don't get, like, as many cards. I don't think that's how Zendikar Rising is going to work with not as many cards as we'll see. Like some special packs. They got the rare though, Linfoil. I saw that one on the spoiler. Pretty good one. Fuck, turn of words. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you have a full party, you choose something non permanent opponent controls. The next turn, it can't be attacked upon this activated, which can't be activated. That's like a detain effect, that. And then sack it, choose Hexproof for an indestructible creature you control, it empty. That's pretty cool. I really like that. It might be good enough for constructed, especially in some kind of blue white aggro deck where um, you, you can maybe even cast Wrath yourself. Certainly post board, that's something you could look to do. Nice mythic wild card there. I do have a buttload of wild cards anyway, so I'm kind of okay. Ah, oh, this card is just broken bullshit for commander and older formats, but I don't think it really matters in newer formats. But it gets a bit ridiculous. A thousand dollars for one sender card pack. Nah, get fucked. That's all right. Um, don't think I do want. Yeah. Bonus for lot of lands with Zendikar Rising pack bundles. Okay. Oh, I see. It shows you how many you get, but I don't think I want to buy any packs in this game. It seems terrible. Um, new mastery chart. So we've just got the mastery is going to ding up. There's some random stuff in here. Oh, that really slowed my mouse down. I'll just speed it up. Mastery tree. New looking trees. Okay, I guess. What's at the top of them? Emiri is cool. Quite like that. I, I think that's good in older formats. That get into awakening. Turntable Symbiosis is probably the best one. Um, Shatter Skull, actually not bad. Seagate Restoration, not bad. What do you get in the meantime? Some stuff. There's probably a right way of doing this. You know what? I don't even have to do it now. I'll leave it. And that's something to think about for later. But what I would like to get into is um, Premier Trash for Xenical Rising, because that's something that excites me. So let's click on that button. I really haven't looked over spoilers a lot, so I have some awareness, like there's a party archetype, there's some other archetypes. I'm not sure about the relative strength of colours, but that's part of what's exciting about this, to be honest. Um, let's just leap in. Pay my token for entry. Right, so there's a reward here. Island. Oh, nice, we're going to do this. Cool, I've got the Bucket Island forever on my account. That's very nice. I hope this is going to keep working after I go into a draft because I remember a time when it didn't pan out. But I think that's when this is now recording my whole screen rather than the video game. So let's see. This might fuck up. And if so, uh, <laughs> you'll never see this video, I suppose. Cool, so Planeswalker off the bat. That's exciting. Um, landfalls, whenever a player enters, whenever land enters the battlefield. Put a loyalty counter on that. So that's how it gets loyalty. Untap target creature control. You may have it become a 3 3 element with haste and menace to turn to land. That's a pretty mad ability. This is uh, the, the minus 5. Put a creature card with convert mana cost less than or equal to the number of lands you control onto battlefield from your hand or graveyard with 2 plus. So that ability is really cool. Um, I think I'm likely to take that because I, I do want to try this and construct it. I'm going to have a look around the rest of the pack. We do have 35 seconds, so I'll click on that. Uh, decent flyer. Nice ability. Wow, that's very good. That's very good indeed. Uh, Trample, that's a nice guy. Not as good as the blue guy. That's also not bad. Disenchanting, bunch of reasonable commons. Oh, that's a big... Okay, that's a nice cool like thing. So it's a 6-5 Trample for 6. And then you can, if you want to, bounce some lands to reuse effects. So that could be a nice curve topper if that's the thing you want. Wow, 6 minus. A nexus number trees in your party, so that's at least one one. But I think when you when you have a planeswalker first pack first pick, you just gotta take it. I think that's the thing. Regrow search, price of lands, two basic land cards, put one battle tap, and shuffle your library. So this is Harrow. 
And that's pretty damn cool, I think, in this format. She's very two base and oh, about the old tap strikes. It's kicked. So that's like real powerful once you get to kick it. The top five cards. She, she don't get long broken wings, yeah, destroy. That's I remember that being nice in the original format it was in. Uh, that's pretty nice. Just draw a card off a three two. Um That's kinda reasonable. Oh, that's quite nice as well, little effect. And, and there is this, that's a member of the party. But so is this wizard, and this is a free member of the party. So I'm, I'm going to take that. I mean, what's this in here is binding. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that's just a straight removal spell. And you can enchant planeswalkers with that spell, so it's pretty nice. Um, but I think Jiraga Visionary is good. Maybe it's Roiling Regrowth. That seems pretty good as well, especially in a landfall set. Maybe that's a mistake not to take that. Um, yeah, the Visionary, it's a free creature. 3 2 is not as good as it once was, but it's still decent. Uh, Blood Chief Thirst. Yeah, that seems like a winner straight off the bat. I mean, obviously, if I'm killing a cheap creature with this freaking fantastic paying 1, but I can pay 4 and kill anything, and that's pretty good. Um, well, that, that's not a bad little cantrip. Uh, Rabbit Bite, it's a fight. Oh, it's not. It's, um,. It's just a straight up punch, that's what we call those for plane waste. That's kind of cute, like it's okay. Uh, there's another one here is binding. And I'm definitely gonna stay on the colours here. Ruin crab's nice. God, there's a lot there is a lot to talk about in a very small time to digest it in these packs at the beginning, so it is a pretty tight time limit here. I don't really know again what the archetypes are. I'm going to figure that parties are worth assembling. For example, it seems like they probably should be um, next to pot. I want to land in battlefield. That's all, that's all right. Um, you get flying for one, and then you can move around. That's all right. Um, potential party member. Okay, that's nice, and it levels up. It is a party member. Might be worth a look. I don't know about one three. I mean, gaining a bit of life's all right. Um, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, I mean, this party member seems a bit lackluster, but I'm guessing any time I'm gonna I'm gonna like figure that this ability has some good payoffs and that it's worth doing. I, I am not certain about that yet, but let's figure that. Thwart the grave. Turn target for each card and up to one target. That seems really powerful, so it might well be that. What? Enchanted land is a fourth elemental creature with region hate to sell land. Oh, it's kind of meh. Um, that's kind of nice. Let's take the Swart the Grave for sure. It's a potential means of card advantage. It keys off the party. Um, well, that's interesting. So, Stonework Pack Beats might be worth it as well. Maybe I should be picking some of those up. So, it's basically a 2 1, which is a bit shit, but it also counts as any party member that you need it to count after all those party boosts. So, I don't really have any party boosts yet, but I think they are there. Um, that's kind of nice. 5 4, you're going to gain some life. That looks very solid. Um, so, a 2 1 with a bit of a drain, but I don't like 2 1s for 2, to be honest. Subtle Strike, choose one, type with your minus one, minus one. That's a quite a nice little cheap combination, if that spell was one, but I think the, the turn Timper setting has won it for me. He's also a Cleric, so he is a party member, and that's pretty sick if I'm using the Swart the Grave, because I can bring back the turn Timber and another guy. Um, yeah, this looks ridiculous. Uh, there's another ascetic here. Um, you have to have another rogue for this guy, but it's it's like a fine duder. But again, I, I think Turn Timber Aesthetic looks pretty broken. If you, if you end up in any kind of a race, this card seems like it's going to be very solid. Um, oh, that's cute. So it's like one of these, but you can't miss. I kind of like that balancing to that sort of card. Um, there's a Vampire Cleric here. There's a rogue here that wants me to have other rogues. What have we got? I've got a rogue here. Wizard, a cleric. Um, I'll have a two drop. I don't think it's that good of a two drop, but 
haven't really got a two drop yet. I've got, I haven't got a three drop either. Fuck it. Um, I don't know how often I'll be gaining life. Oh, there's a little synergy with this thing and this thing. So when I can gain life, I can drain life, and and there is a bunch of things that say drain on them. So maybe that's good. Uh, draw a silencer. Ah, so this can be like a full necrotar when you have like a complete party. I don't love this, but I am gonna take it. Um. I think we're likely to be able to get at least minus two, minus two, or minus three, minus three out of this, and maybe that will be acceptable. Also, don't know how truly good getting a load of next bots and marauding blight priests is. It's the cards themselves seem kind of meh. Um, we don't sideboard. This destroys the artifact enchantment of creature with blight. That does seem versatile, though. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. I, I don't know if I want to play it or not. This card's really cool. I'll probably want some for a deck that I'm building at some point. Our oh, tormenting voice is back. That's kind of cute. That might be good in my um, historic deck. So who are the party members? Is, is this getting told me at any point? Um, cleric, rogue, warrior, or wizard. So the one I don't have a warrior yet. But Green's probably got some warriors, so I'm on the lookout for warriors. I got rogue, cleric, wizard, rogue, cleric. So two clerics, two rogues, and a wizard. I like the re. I've got a little reanimate theme going with multiple reanimate effects, so we might be able to potentially abuse that as well. So that's cool. Oh, nice start with a black rare. Just spawn plus one less if your opponent controls no basic land, so that's probably not going to be the case. Um, so it's a terror that can also be a land. That's quite good, but it's really just a four mana removal, which is fine, but not ridiculously great. Be the swarm. That's decent. Light's good. Veteran Adventurer. Vigilance. Okay, so we'll reduce the cost on this. It looks fairly good. And it's everything in my party for like a terror well a overpriced start banishing. Um yeah, fuck it. I'll go with the rare. I think it's probably a little better. Although, I have to say, like, it, it's obviously a premium removal spell. But the fact it's two black black, it is at least instant speeds. It's just not that great of a deal. And Palaka Predation. So you can, like, make them discard. It's really expensive. Or you can make it a land that comes to play tapped. Seems pretty average. Um, Knowledge Colony. So it's a 2 mana 2-2 two, two, or a 5 mana 4-4. Four, four. With a nice extra, that that seems really really solid. It's another veteran adventure that I can take as well. Um, that oh, that strength and solidarity gets really good. But knowledge colony seems like an absolutely premium two drop, and I don't have a lot of two drops. I wonder. This is probably going to be cheaper. I mean, if it's too cheaper, it gets really good. Let's gamble. Let, let's go with the theme a bit more. But I think the Gnarled Colony is the better card, and I maybe wanted it a bit more. But this early in the format, I want to try and test the strength of this theme. Um, two. Okay, so there's a little theme of plus one, plus one counters getting an ability, which is kind of cute. Destroy a creature or a planeswalker. Cost a bunch. We've already got one of those. I mean, it is like... Still a, a probably fairly premium removal spell. Feed this one. Black has a lot of removal in this form, and that's something worth noticing straight away. There is a Chiraga Visionary, which is a party member, and I, I do really like that you get a 3 2 and you draw a card. So, this just gets reduced by creatures in your party, but I think like building my party up, but given that I've already got two decent terror effects and uh, draw the silencer. Uh, I think I have two decent terror effects, do I? Yeah, Blood Chief Thirst and this. I like decent costly terrors. Um, so the Stomper, I haven't really got any landfall payoff at all. Oh, a Death Touch Rogue that costs one, that seems good. Um, and is a party member. Flash, flying, party member. And it mills it for two. Yeah, and I think, I think this is going to be pretty good. What's this? Um, Oh, 
Okay, so it's kind of a bit of card advantage, but it's a kind of slow burn. Letting you kind of choose when you pay. That, that seems okay. It's like a nice little card, obviously. Um, another turn timber aesthetic. That card is obviously good. There's another deadly alliance. We're kind of flush for clerics, though, I think. Let's double wizard. I mean, it's tempting, but also maybe more five drops. Flying defender. Okay, it's one of them. So it's a 7 on a 4 5 flyer with. Yeah, it's kind of meh. Um, Deadly Alliance seems good, and of course, the more party members, it's going to make this card even better. So, this has the potential to be really good, but if you don't have party members, it's okay. Levels are good. Base camp. Okay, that's an interesting land. So, it allows me to try and grab party members from other colors. There's the Stonework Pack Beast here, which is a two mana party member of all types, though. Um, and it fixes my colors. Yeah, let's go with that. Well, I messed that up, but it doesn't matter. Treadworm. Oh, that's kind of a cute ability. One less to cast for each creature on the party. So that could potentially get pretty good. Um, it's not a bad reanimate target, but I haven't got anything to pitch it. The Treadworm standfall's kind of nice, though. Let's, let's take it. I don't know how many parties we're going to end up with, although we are doing well. Where did it go? So sweet. Okay, so it's kind of like a slow burn, fairly shit removal spell. That's nice to use card advantage. This is okay, it's not the best spell ever. The Elf Wizard's really good. Rabbit Bite seems solid as a punch. But I think I think Draugr really seems a pretty nice card. One thing I'm a bit worried, we're, we're a bit low on early picks, so we're going to have to prioritise them. I don't think we really want this card. The broken wings. Ah, cool. Yeah, this card looks really good. And we're likely to have. I think it's quite possible to kind of bridge to a place where we've got two creatures in our party at the moment, at least. And this would be two plus one plus one counters for a single mana. That looks like it could do something pretty nice. What I really want now is just some cheaper drops. I mean, realistically, this veteran adventure is probably going to cost five max. Maybe even cost four if I, but that's a, that's a real incentive. Wow! So people aren't respecting this aesthetic, which I'll flick. I want to read this? Okay, that's a pretty nice effect. Right, so we kind of got also like we're hitting enough playables. We just need to make our deck and say better cards. Choose hot creature. You lose two life. Bro. Oh, cool. So it, it like rebirths a creature um, at instant speed. Or it's a land. That seems quite a powerful effect. Blood Reckoning. So this can be good if you wait till later and you pay for it. It's kind of fine. There isn't a lot of on color action here, so I'm just going to take this Malakir Rebirth. I don't know if I want a lot of this effect, but I could play it over a land or as an addition. Jeez, okay. So not a lot of um, cards on color coming through. Uh, Blood Reckoning, yeah, we've seen that before. Sack a creature, draw a card, as long as you can control a cleric. That's kind of a nice little card. It's, it's annoying that the activation's two. There's a warrior to join my party, which I think I'm just going to do. It also is one of the cheaper creatures I've managed to draft, so that's fine. Uh, Black Bloom Rogue. Okay, so this is one of these, and then it could be a swamp. Okay, and they're kind of playing with you. If you hit a lot of them, you got that do, do I run less lands as a result sort of thing. Um, Death Switch, as long as I have a rogue. Zombie Bat, Flying Lifelink. That seems like it could be a pain if it gets kicked, but it's it's like a kind of poor deal at each cost. Vampire Cleric. I'm trying to four. Canopy Baloth. It's okay. Um, Black Bloom Rogue's probably the pick just because I can play it as an additional land, which is kind of like a nice, a nice amount of flexibility. The other card put me off because a six mana three three is pretty shit. Whereas the the like two mana one one, yeah, it's something. But I'm then, then going to have to look around. I mean, turn timber aesthetic actually seems one of the best ways I can gain life and. 
it's only whenever I gain each opponent loses one rather than the amount of life, so it's not as good as it could be, but this pack is shit. I'm unlikely to have any of them. Let's just get that. I mean, I, I know that I don't want another one for sure now. Haha, <laughs> straight away another one. Uh, th th ooh, another thought the Brave. That card seems powerful. I don't know how many Thwart the Graves I really want. The card is definitely essentially like I think a broken endgame finisher for me. I think it will just win games when it lands if I've been trading. Because um, it's going to bring back two guys. So yeah, fuck it. Let's. My, my deck seems to like want to trade a lot. So let's say that that's my plan. Well, this card's really good. Um... I guess we'll, we'll snap up this two drop for the party number for now. I'm aware we're going a bit over, but if we run two land spells, we might be able to get away with running 16 land, although we have a pretty high curve. Uh, there's a rabbit bite and a blood bite, so I'm just going to keep for now probably putting all the likely cards into the deck. Um, that card's alright. And it's this card that is all party members again. Just fix one one or a little. I mean, I don't have that many cards that queue off the party members, but yeah, I think I think it's fine. Now, I remember actually coming back around. We're probably unlikely to receive a lot. So I see this as kind of a popular theme. The equipment in the set is they immediately snap onto something. Kind of nice. That's one of these. So it seems as well there's a lot of like just medium power creatures. They're not insane, they're just fine. Um in in this set. There's just a lot of them. Um like on I was noticing Red has a bunch of things that they're probably slightly worse in turn timber aesthetic, but you get a four five and if you put a land back you can gain two, and that might be an advantage depending on where you're where you're sitting. Black seems to have a fair bit of removal, but I haven't seen too much from other colours yet. And it'll be interesting to learn what tricks people are using. Okay, so we've got far too many cards here. First things first. Then we go down to 16 and then maybe run the two cards that are land. Because that kind of gives us like a virtual 18 land, but then it kind of kind of plays into things nicely. Um, then we have to cut four cards. So what are those four? I'm probably thinking Nimana Skidder Sneak. It is a rogue, but it's a 3-4, which is pretty meh. It wants a lot of cards to be in the opponent's graveyard. It's just not doing as much as other cards that we've got, so I'm going to throw it. Um, so here I get to look at top 5, pick a creature, and if I don't, then I can just draw a card. So it's like slow, but it gives me some card selection. As I think, I, I've got a lot of multiples of things, so I don't think I need this card, because I've got no one insane bomb other than a planeswalker, and I think even that actually isn't an insane bomb. Like my main bombs are thwart the graves, which I can't draw with this, so I think that that's an easy chuck. You can just go. Um, kill spell, land spell. Yeah, all these I wanted. Really wish I could have had some more blight blades. They would have been nice. Um, I mean, Malachi Blood Priest doesn't feel very exciting. It's kind of life drain might be useful though. This is like a land, so again, that kind of... Broken Wings! I don't know about this card. Like, if I compare it in my own deck, I don't really have anything that this would target. Maybe Stonework Pack Beast. Um, I don't know how good this card's going to be, so it may well be good enough to main deck, but I'm going to board it for now. Um, and by board, I mean not play, as is the case of this format. So, um, oh, we've got a third spell that's a land as well, so having three of them... Seems pretty strong. I like the Deadly Alliance gets cheap the more party members. We've got four turn timber aesthetics. That is a lot of that card. Um, 
it's a pretty strong card though, but I think we can we can cut one because we've got some six drops as well. And then I think that gives us a fairly balanced deck. Broken Wings is like the, the maybe pathless trodden, but let's try this out. We get to have this one a deck box as well. So that's a draft. I'll see if this video works and I'll come back with a gameplay video. Thank you for watching.